You're gonna keep going round after round until somebody vomits. I know CT knows he intimidates me. When CT stepped in, you know, it's just like you <laughs> You for <laughs> on my game. All right, girls. Tonight you're playing Spanish torture. As you can see, we have some lines here in the middle of the ring. To begin, you guys are gonna be connected to these lines. And when I say go, you're gonna shimmy all the way across from one end to the other, ringing that bell at the end. First girl to ring the bell, wins tonight's elimination round, stays in the game. Loser goes home empty-handed. Good luck, girls. Dig deep. Natalie and I, we are the last female rookies. I feel like we did have two very different journeys. Hers was definitely a little bit of an easier ride, and I had to prove myself a little bit more. Nat, you're light, you're quick, you're a gymnast. This is all you. Don't listen to her. I might be good at this because I was a gymnast, so hopefully my gymnastics abilities help me out today. Eye on the bell. That's all you got to do, girl. This looks like something Natalie is built for. Are you kidding me? Natalie can take out Cam. All right, girls, you ready? Natalie, this is her jam. This is what she should be good at. She's making her way way quicker than Cam, and I'm getting nervous right now. Case to pick it up because Natalie needs to go home. Hold that feet! Hold your hands! Hold! Hold your hands! Yes, that's it, Cam. believe I'm making it over this far and she is just still stuck in one spot. Natalie panics. That's what liars do. They panic. <laughs> Keep those legs moving, Cam. Yes, sir. All right, Cam, you win. Kill a Cam, baby. Yeah. Hitting that bell never felt so good. I'm so proud. Guys, guys, that was a really good battle. Thank you. They keep putting them in here, you keep sending them home. It's that simple. There is absolutely no secret why it is we made it to the final challenge. I worked as hard as I could in the exiles. It came down to the fact that I really wanted to be here regardless of how pathetic Casey really is at this game. It's over in three seconds. Just step off. I'm not doing it. Call me a Call me a scaredy cat. Bet. It's right here. Yeah, get up there. Good job, guys. Yeah, Tina. Good job. That's a strong second place finish, my friend. Yeah, Wes. Yeah, Wes. Yeah, Casey. All right, first I want to start out by saying there were no losers today. Wes and Casey, congratulations to you guys getting third place. You guys are each taking home $10,000. We're third place, which is really not that impressive. And anyone who says congratulations for bronze can like. I think I figured that we do last place, but I just feel really, really bad because I feel like I really, really let Wes down. I wish that I could have done better. Here's how it's gonna work. When I say go, you're gonna make your way to the first puzzle. Once you solve that puzzle, you'll make your way to the rack and start filling your buckets up with your weighted bags. Now you must use all of your weighted bags, but it's up to you how you distribute the weight. Once you distribute all your weight into your buckets, you put the weight racks across your shoulders and make your way up the trail as fast as possible. There will be two more checkpoints with puzzles at each. Now if you solve these puzzles correctly, you will have an advantage on making it to that finish line first. To my knowledge, Sarah is actually one of the brightest girls in the house, so I'm thinking we have a chance here, because if you can complete the puzzle faster than the other person can, you have the advantage. The first team to cross that finish line will make it out of exile and stay in the game. Loser goes home empty-handed. Me and Kenny are seen as a threat, so they're trying to put us in to get rid of us, but you know what, Wes? It's gonna bite you right in the ass, because when we come back, we are coming back for blood. Okay, you ready? You must arrange all seven puzzle pieces to form the designated shape. If you do the puzzle, you have to load your buckets up with weight 
and truck up this mountain. Put 10 pounds on the other side. Is it good? Good. Yep, okay, good, go. good, good. 60 more pounds. You, just gotta, you gotta put no, another 10 on this side. That's 25. Yeah. Right, yep. I put a 90 pound rack on my back and what makes it more difficult is that the buckets are swinging. So it's basically throwing your back out every step you take. Shoulders. Hans, successfully completing this puzzle. You can remove 30 pounds from your chain totally. Use the numbers provided to complete the puzzle. Each row column and colored stream must contain different numbers. Oh, this is the deck. We get to the second puzzle and it's kind of like a Sudoku. This has to be a one. I know I can finish it. We're almost at checkpoint. Three and four. We're right here. No, there's two twos here. Go, it. Let's complete this puzzle. Gonna puke? Uh, okay, four. That has to be three. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. 30 off of yours right now. Come on, we can do it. We're not that far. Oh. You can do it. Oh. Kenny, carry it on your back. Your legs are stronger. Your My legs... back? I know. Sorry. I'll massage your back when we get back. Kenny is struggling because he has to carry 90 pounds, and I'm doing the best that I can. Carry it on your back and walk through the pain. Ah. This course is basically hell. There's a point in me where I want to just break down, but Mama didn't raise no fool, and I'm going to keep going. Okay. Let's go. Ah. I see something up there, Kenny. See oh. that? The fish? Yep. We're almost at the end, and we get to a point where we can drop all of our weight. The only thing that we need to cross the finish line with is the pole and the dangling buckets. You got it, Kenny. You can do it. You get to drop all the way in here, Vinny. Let's go. We're almost there, Kenny. We're almost there. Push. I can see those green shirts just ahead. So I'm thinking that we have a chance here to, to win this. Here we go. Yeah, we're almost there. Let's go. Good job. Nice work, man. Congratulations, Kenny and Laurel. By winning today's elimination round, you made it out of exile. Go back to the house. You're still in the game. Great job. Good luck, guys. Now it's the ladies' turn, so I need Svelana and Anissa. Come on in. We want the best for each other, so it's kind of hard to really compete. This is my friend I'm going against. I don't want to be her, but I don't want to lose her. Svetlana, Anissa, tonight you guys are playing I Can. Svetlana, you're going to have the first bid. You're going to decide how many of these logs that you think that you're able to lift in this cart. Anissa, if you think you can lift more than that, then you're going to say a higher number. You guys are going to go back and forth until one of you says go ahead and do it. At that time, that person's going to have to lift exactly how many logs she says she can lift. If she does this successfully, locks her knees out for five seconds, then she will win tonight's duel. Staying in the game, going for 150 Gs. Also win this T-Mobile Sidekick 3 with one year's service. All right, Svetlana, you got first bid. How many of those logs do you think you can pick up? Five. Eight. 11, 15, 20, 22. Hey, 30, 35, 50, 54, 55, 56, try 65. I just want to see how far I can get her to go. But what if she just says, screw this, Svetlana, you pick that up. She says 66. 67. Can I try it? I told Svetlana prior to this that I'd want to win or lose by lifting today. But I can't even believe we got this far up. 71. 72. 73. Five seconds, right? Yep. Baby, do it. All right. So Anissa's got to do 73 logs. So let's load them up. Of course I'm scared. I'm like, she's either going to lift this like it's a crate of eggs, or she's not going to be able to lift that thing off the ground. I can lift a good amount of logs. And I'm pumped. I'm like, I, I can do this. I can do this. I can lift this. This isn't, this isn't the heavy. All right, Anissa, as soon as you lock your knees, I'm going to start the time. Whatever you do from there, as long as it doesn't hit the ground, you're good to go. So make it happen. You ready? Get set. Go. Come on, Anissa. Come on. Pull that thing. That's it. I can't lift it. And it's so crazy that I 
everything that you fought for is taken away from you in like all of five seconds. Svetlana, congratulations to you. You're going to be receiving this T-Mobile Sidekick 3 plus one year service. <laughs> Anissa, you're going to be receiving a T-Mobile <laughs> courtesy of Svetlana. Anissa, I'm very proud of you. Killed at this challenge, OK? Way to go. But you have 20 minutes. You're still in the game. Congratulations. You're going to the finals. Go rejoin the crew. Anissa, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> and tonight, we're starting with the girls. So Johanna, Sarah, get ready. I feel like the only way to go into a ruin is with confidence, because I think the person who gives up in their mind first is the person who's going to lose. Sarah really wants to be here. I, you know, didn't know if I really wanted to be here, but I do know that I want that money. All these games are mental, and I just got to give it my all. Champions, you ready? Challengers, you ready? Go! Hold it, Joe! Joe, you hold it, Joe! Go, ladies, come on! Joey? You both are at the same place. Just stay focused. Watching Johanna, I'm a little worried because she seems like she doesn't have a position on the water, whereas Sarah seems to be using the water as a tool to keep her above. Good job. Good job, Joe. Stay tough. I don't feel anything in the ab crunch zone. It's more just me holding myself up with my legs, taking deep breaths, and relaxing. Take a shot of I think everybody kind of has a feeling that my head is not there. I just don't want to let them down, you know? I don't want them to think that I'm just, like, rolling over and just letting Sarah beat me. Stay tough, Joe! Stay tough! Stay tough, Joe! Just hang. Good job, Joe! You stay strong! Watching Johanna submerge underwater and pull the cord is devastating because I realize I'm stuck with the crazy boys and I'm sad because I've lost a friend here. Can I win? Yep. Yeah, you're going. Sarah Dawson, awesome. I'm glad we have somebody that motivated and excited to be here because God knows the rest of us want to shoot ourselves in the face. Congratulations, Sarah, on winning tonight's elimination round. You're still in the game. You get Johanna's bank account directly deposited into your individual bank account. Go ahead and rejoin your team. Now I've got a ton of money in my bank account, and I feel so good. Nobody else I wanted to get my more closer than you and Ken. <laughs> Joey loses, and she wanted to. Sarah enjoys this more than she enjoys her regular life. So I don't think Sarah is planning on going anywhere. Each round is going to go like this, 10 and 10. So you have 10 minutes to eat your first cookie and drink your first glass of milk. So it's 10 minutes you'll eat and drink, then you'll spin for 10 minutes. After that 20 minutes, we're gonna go to second round, which is gonna be 10 minutes to eat two cookies and drink two glasses of milk. You're gonna keep going round after round until somebody vomits. I know CT knows he intimidates me. When CT stepped in, I was just like, you You for up my game. The turntable will get progressively faster as the rounds go on. Let's get it all, Dave! I mean, I eat all day. I'm known as the bottom of this pit of the family. Milk and cookies, it's my only excuse to cheat on my diet, and I'm taking advantage of it. Three, two, one. <laughs> CT keeps the stone face, got his shades on. Cool as can be. Looking like a Boston Mafia boy. Chilling in the corner. <laughs> Oh, but you won't be able to see Shane after all these cookies. Oh! <laughs> one glass of milk. Here we go. We're going to start it up for 10 minutes. You're going to spin. He's never thrown up in his life. He can't physically do it. So today, if he throws up, it will be for the first time. 
We're gonna be so dizzy when this is done. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Man. You guys got 10 minutes to eat two cookies. I will. Drink two glasses of milk. You think it's gonna last for more than two rounds? You know what? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna survive the last two more rounds of this. Good job, buddy. Thank Good you. job. What is it? Whole milk? Right? That's whole milk. It's warm. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, we got one minute left. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Out of the blue, I hear a splash on the ground, and I look over, and Shane just puked. Man, just a whole line of baby poo came flying out of his mouth. I lost. I couldn't help it. Hey. I honestly, I had swallowed puke three times already. It was my time to go. Kendall, don't cry, babe. <laughs> it's such a shock. And we were all just staring at him like, you didn't lose. It's like seeing Superman crumble. Oh, don't squeeze me too hard. I'm not you. <laughs> I hate milk. I don't drink milk at home. I don't like it. It's the worst feeling in the world because I want to stay with these people so bad and I just feel like Congratulations, CT. You, you, did, you did a manly thing, man. You stepped it up and uh, risked it all. And uh, congratulations, man. You return to your team and uh, continue with the game. Real World has seven people now, and Road Rules has eight. We're closing the gap, so hopefully we can step it up and start winning. This is pretty gnarly. Like, the fire makes it hard to hold on. Keep the blood pumping. Keep the blood pumping. I was built for this. Built for this Honestly, I don't think I've ever looked more badass in my life. I was Now you have to get up and you have to run. Was all of this, all these clothes on? I mean, this is crazy. This whole final is coming down to seconds. Neck and neck. I run and I give everything I have. I'm gonna get that million dollars. Hell yeah. The Dirty 30 has challenged me in many ways. You constantly have to face your fears. I mean, like, it's always a battle of self. I got it! I got it! I think that's what's the most beautiful thing about it, is I feel so much stronger as a person now than I did coming into it. Cross one. Once all six of you have crossed the finish line, you may play my final message. Congratulations on making it through the final challenge. It's been one of the best seasons ever, and hands down, the dirtiest. You want to know who won? Well, this game is so dirty that I'm not going to tell you. What? <sighs> At least not yet. It's not over. You won't find out your time results here. You'll find out at the finale reunion. What? See you there. Bro, bro. Oh my god. No talk is cheap, you like mystery. I've been awake since 2 a.m. If I'm not a part of the most insane experiment in the entire world, then I don't know what this is anymore. Good evening, guys. Welcome to the last male inferno. Yeah! Competing for Team Badass. From real world Miami, we have Dan the Man. Danimal! 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 For the good guys, from real world Philadelphia, we got Landon. Come on out, Landon. Go, 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 come on, go. Oh, yeah. Before we get into the game, guys, two players will win the Life Shield today. Let's find out what their decision is. On the badass team here, CT won probably more Life Shields than anybody else, but I've never seen you down here. You willing to come down here and save Dan or what? Nah, I'm good, thanks. No. Okay. Good guys. Darrell. Come on, Darrell. You want a life shield today. You want to come down and save Landon? Landon got it. Okay, guys. Here we go. It looks like it's head to head. Tonight's game is called Pegged. The object is to climb to the top of this wall using handheld pegs. You can skip holes. Any route you want to take, 
just make it to the top. The person who gets there first wins this inferno, stays in the game. The loser goes home tonight, doesn't get a chance to split out the money from the final mission. Let's go, Dan! I think Dan's gonna do surprisingly well on this. Landon, we're not too scared of you, buddy. Go Landon! Go Landon, get me! Landon will have absolutely no problem doing this. He rock climbs, he has no fear. I am 110% positive this is Landon. It's got his name written all over it. Landon's weirding me out, pacing like a tiger. Just back and forth, back and forth. Toss him a steak or something. Here, gnaw on this. You know what to do, Landon. Come on, pump it up! Dan. You got, got this, Dan. Go. You got this. I am serious. Come on, Dan! Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Right, here, here we go, go guys. Go. Three, two, go, one. It's like a damn tie. You know, I'm like, what the f Come on, Landon, come on. I want you to come back. I can feel Dan's presence. I know that it's neck and neck. I'm just like, Landon, you stand up moving your ass. <laughs> Dan, you rock. You did fing awesome. You did. Yeah. Damn good job, Dan. Come on, Dan. Come on. Good job, brother. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Dan is definitely a stronger, better player than some of the guys that are here in the end. It's a bad loss, and it's a sad loss. Dan deserves to be here in the end. Landon, congratulations. Return to your team. Come here, big boy. Thanks, Take care, man. It was critical that I won here tonight. Now I get the chance to win 150 grand. We're just gonna keep this momentum and carry it right through the final challenge and make that money. Sometimes we're fighting. Sometimes they broke my trust. You broke my heart. I did not I didn't deserve it. This challenge, hardest I ever done in my life. I can forget this pain, but I cannot forget this memory. Second place, taking home $200,000. Which means the champion of the challenge, War of the Worlds, goes to Turbo. $750,000. I am the winner. <laughs> winner of the challenge, War of the Worlds. I'm a little bit upset I didn't win, but Turbo wanted winning today. I, I couldn't lose to a better guy. Second place, 200 Gs, like, it's just surreal. I, I ain't got no words for it. You earned it, Turbo, you earned it. You understood that line, no problem, did you? Turbo definitely deserves this title. I can't take it away from him. Please don't ever invite Turbo back. TJ, please just lose his phone number, please. <laughs>